Okay, let me know if you can hear me now. What a pain in the ass this is, right? With Facebook, sorry guys, but it is. It really is. Um, because it's Facebook. It's definitely not the phones or the connection because it happens everywhere. It happens um, to me everywhere, pretty much. Let me know if you can hear me. If you can hear me, give me a thumbs up or a little heart or say yes or something, because I just lost my sound once again. Let me know if you can hear me. Suavecito, suave. Can you guys hear me? Say yes, please. I just lost, okay, cool. Yeah, you can hear me. What a pain in the butt this has been. It really has, it really has. It's been such a pain in the butt. Uh, hi, Baldy, hi, Baldy, hi, Baldy. Uh, yes, thank you, Lucinda, we're back. Okay, so anyway, the title of this video is self-defense, right? And uh, I know that a lot of you, I, I know that most of you watching support the Second Amendment. I do too. I was so happy to, literally so happy, like tears happy to hear about um, Kyle Rittenhouse being acquitted of all charges. And, and, I'll, and I'll tell you why. Um, I, I know what it's like to be falsely accused of something. And I feel he had the right to defend himself. And I would have hated to see him. A, a young boy um, spend even a couple years in jail, which would have destroyed his life uh, over this. Um, the Second Amendment is very clearly, very clearly expressed in the Constitution for a reason. We have the right to defend ourselves. He wasn't out there shooting people. I mean, and, I, and you can go back and watch, look, at, I, I post a lot of stuff on Instagram. Uh, though I got, oh, I have to tell you, I got a strike on Instagram for posting that justice prevailed with Kyle. They're so full of crap. All I, all I said was justice prevail, prevailed. <laughs> and they took it down. Look at this. I got a violation on. So let me show you. This was the post. Let me show you the post. I posted this. And they removed my post. Whatever. How is that a violation of community standards? Saying justice prevailed. It's a bunch of crap, really, if you ask me, but whatever. Now, if President Trump would have focused more since day one on self-defense, because he, a lot of you think of self-defense as shooting someone, such as Kyle Rittenhouse did, which he had every right to do. Um, active shooter. <laughs> active shooter. What a bunch of... What a bunch of lying bastards but anyway um a lot of you think of self-defense as shooting someone like i said like kyle rittenhouse did but self-defense is not just shooting someone there's a lot of ways that people can hurt you and there's a lot of ways to fight back there's a woman sitting in jail right now in mexico for using her platform to criminally harass Two people, three, actually a bunch of people, but one committed suicide, another one committed suicide, another one was majorly, majorly, majorly affected by it, and that's the reason why she's in jail because of the one that was majorly affected, and she's still in, in alive, but she was majorly affected. I mean, can you imagine someone with five, six, I think seven million followers? cyberbullying you and uh and you having zero voice and nothing uh being able to do nothing about it so people commit suicide over this stuff so guns are not the only thing that can kill you or a skateboard or kicking someone in the head people can hurt you in other ways such as um this woman hurt the two people that committed suicide in other ways so that's why it is so important for you to fight back did you know that in the beginning of all of this, that uh, 
Oscar Cucaracha started against me. He, he called for me to, they called for me. He didn't personally, but the hate group called for me to commit suicide. With all the crap that they did, I mean, it would have been, trust me, it would have been, it would have been a, a lot of people in my shoes probably would have done, you know, a lot of stupid things. You know? Uh, maybe, maybe commit suicide, maybe all kinds of other things. So what I'm saying is the only, the guns are not the only way to kill people. You know, knives are not the only way to kill people. You can kill people, you can get people, you can majorly hurt someone with your words. You can psychologically destroy someone, which is what they wanted to do with me. So anyway, I'm going to close, uh, I'm going to finish off this video by telling you this. If you want me to fight for you in Congress, let me fight back for myself, okay? If you want to unfollow me for defending myself, go right ahead. Unfollow me for defending myself. I will never stop fighting back. I believe in self-defense. I believe in the Second Amendment. You come at me and I have a gun, guess what? I'm going to shoot you because that's my right, especially as an American in America. Maybe not in Mexico, <laughs> Come on, my dogs. But don't expect me to be a strong leader. Don't expect me to fight for you. If you're criticizing me for defending myself, don't expect me to fight off Nancy Pelosi or Joe Biden or whoever when I can't even fight my own battles. I don't care if you call it drama. Call it drama all you want, Mary. Don't expect me to sit back and take the attacks of a bunch of criminals that have, that have personally come out and attacked, that have attacked me personally, and for me to take the high road and say nothing. Don't expect me to sit back and let something like this be said about me and for me to sit back and say nothing. I'm not going to. And whoever doesn't agree with me is fine. You know what? It's fine. Exactly. You fight fire with fire. And if President Trump would have done a lot more in, 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 in the... In the uh, aspect of self-defense, he would most likely still be president right now. I could guarantee you that. But he took the high road a lot of times. He was working very closely to one of the smugglers, well-known in Mexico, that was, you know, crossing people into the United States illegally. This is Paloma for Trump? For Trump? Really? Well, the Latino Trump supporter, a face of Latinos for Trump, works with organized crime in Mexico, connected to the cartels? Really? Because there's ample evidence that she was working very closely to one of the smugglers, well-known in Mexico, that was, you know, crossing people into the United States illegally. This is Paloma for Trump? For Trump? Really? She has no ample evidence of anything. She's full of shit. And, uh, and any of you who were accused of one or two or three of the over 200 accusations that were made against me, it would drive you crazy. So let me handle things as I see fit. And if you don't agree with me, then I respect your opinion. But please respect my way of handling these criminals. And if it means I have to confront them in person because they block you on social media, I will do whatever I got to do. And if uh, he wants to pay off some publication whom I've already been in contact with this morning to uh, aid him with his bullshit, well, then the publication will be responsible for that. And the reason why he used this, uh, what, what did you call her, Baldy? You can call her because, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll try to be professional. Um, the reason why he used this, uh, whatever thing, uh, is because she doesn't have a pot to piss in and, uh, and she felt criminally, she was immune to any consequence, which she's not. Um, and civilly, she doesn't have anything to be sued for. What am I going to sue her for her welfare check? 
her fraudulent disability? Because, I mean, if you can run your mouth all day about me, you could get on the phone and, and start taking some uh, customer service calls and, and have a job. What are you disabled for, for? What exactly are you disabled for? Your brain? I mean, even if you couldn't, say you couldn't walk because of your problems or your weight or whatever. I mean, you don't have a problem running your mouth, you know? So let me handle things as I see fit. And Oscar is so, so, so scared of the consequences of everything he's done hitting him in the face that that's why he's going crazy and, you know, putting on these, uh, these shows in Tapachula. Show me the ample evidence of this. I should have played this video for him um, during the uh, confrontation with him. I should have said, hey, where's the ample evidence of me being a human trafficker, you piece of crap? Show me the ample evidence. Because again, he's a coward, so he uses these uh, muertos de hambre, these, you know, welfare uh, disability people. But uh, in the end, we know he's behind it. Come on, we've always known. And, and, and you know, I have plenty of screenshots of him sending them money openly, pri I mean, publicly. So he didn't even try to hide it. We have, we have folders of over 30,000 records and about five times this, um, this deported, disgusting piece of crap sending them money and funding them to criminally harass me and do what they did and slander me and defame me. Um, they have no ample evidence of anything. That was two and a half years ago. And we're still waiting for this bad looking woman to provide that ample evidence that she doesn't have. Again, criminally she felt immune because you know, it's, she considered freedom of speech back then. And also I feel that, um, that, you know, it just, it became such a, it became such a, you know, such a joke to them, you know, so, so euphoric for them to all collectively attack me, the 10 people that he had attacked me. Um, that's why he's going to be confronted by 10 men. And, uh, and there's nothing he can do about it. And he could say whatever he wants, you know, it's not a crime to confront someone. It's not a crime to ask questions. We confront people all the time. That's what rallies are for. We have rallies all the time. Those are confrontations. We have this side and this side, and we say something and they say something, and we confront. You know, sometimes, unfortunately, by violence breaks out on those what those rallies or whatever, and I, I, I am against it because I don't think violence is going to get us anywhere. Um, but. You know, we tried confronting them on social media. It didn't work. We tried asking. We tried, uh, you know, calling them. We tried sending cease and desist letters. It didn't work. So now we have to confront them in person. And, um, and it's going to be in Tapachula, you know, because in Tijuana, you know, there's nothing going on. He's scared of going here because he, he gets his ass kicked if he goes over here by the migrants. And uh, just, be, you know, he, he, try, he had me physically assaulted. So then, you know, we made him fa famous too. He made me famous and had me physically assaulted. I mean, I had, I, my hair was pulled and my, I, my sunglasses were uh, pulled off my face. Um, so then it backfired <laughs> and then he lost all business in the air in Tijuana, right? <laughs> because it always backfires. Um, I told him two years ago, take down the videos. Actually, a year, yeah, two years ago. Baja los videos. Tell the truth, Oscar. Apologize. Apologize. Um, he didn't. So anyway, I know he's a coward, and he likes to, uh, like the mainstream media does, he likes to twist everything. But confronting someone is not a crime. And he doesn't have a restraining order against me. He's full of shit. And, uh, and, uh, and there's no authority in, in, uh, in Tapachula that's going to buy into his bullshit and go along with his drama and his, uh, you know, I mean, again, you put the videos out there. They're right here. I have them right here. Let me tell you something. We're a very conservative country. We're a very traditional country in Mexico, right? So here you have a man who attacked a woman for two and a half years. And, uh, and men, real men in Mexico don't like that. They don't like that. Like 
you know, he's he's able to get away with with his groupies on social media or the woman that, you know, that he flirts with on social media. But when you present this to a, an actual authority in Mexico, especially those who are men, they're going to be like, what the hell is wrong with this puto? You know, like what is wrong with this guy? He's over here crying about a woman. He obviously has been attacking for years. I mean, here's the evidence, you know. Here's the videos. I have a two-hour video where he attacks me. So why would you attack me on social media thinking I can't def Why? I'll tell you why. Because he thought I couldn't defend myself. That's why he attacked me. But then when I did, he cried. And he said that he was assaulted. So he assaulted me for two hours on social media. And that's, that was just one of them, the one he did personally. So he assaulted me for two hours on social media. But then when he was confronted about it, he cried and he said that he had been assaulted. He had been assaulted and he had been threatened. No, nobody threatened you. And, um, and you know, again, we've already been in contact with the publication this morning. And uh, unless the article is retracted, then we're going to have to go after the publication because everyone in Tapachula is going to know who you are. They're no, they're no Cindy Tamales, uh, you know, joke. And, uh, and Mexico works a little different, you know, and we can handle it in person as well. You know, we don't, and, and you know, not, not that the, not that the Cindy, uh, you know, I mean, he had no problem doing this for two and a half hours, right? It's right there. Um, and, uh, it was, uh, you know, it's funny because He'll sit behind the screen and be like, oh, yes, yes, Cindy. Oh, she did this and this and this to me. But before and after he's making the video and even during inside, he's going, ah, I'm going to destroy her right now. And, and that's what people don't see, you know. So it is freedom of speech. And no, nobody confronted him. I mean, nobody confronted him. Nobody assaulted him. I did confront him um, because he assaulted me here. He really did. And, um, and he had 10 other people assault me for two years. So um, in front of uh, Milenio and uh, all those, you know, international um, people, pretty soon he's going to be confronted and he's going to be asked why he spent two and a half years assaulting me on social media and why uh, he called me a human trafficker. And why he called me a pedophile. Because again, I can't drag him into a court in America because uh, he's an illegal, a deported felon. Um, I can't comment on his social media because he blocks all of us. Um, you know, criminally, we can't drag those people here uh, because they're in America. So see, the border issue becomes an issue, you know. He's in Mexico, they're in America. And uh, if we were able to drag uh, Fat Tamales into Mexico and questioned, um, I mean, she will be eventually in, in America anyway. But see, they, they can't be handled together because they're not going to cross here. Like, <laughs> Mary won't even cross into Tijuana because she's, such a, she's so weak. And then this idiot can't cross into America, you know? So... How else do you handle this? How else, how else do you defend yourself? How? By exposing it in front of thousands of people. And I know he's going to try to kill me. I know, I know, I know. He's going to try to light every freaking candle in the state of uh, <laughs> Veracruz or, you know, where, or Mexico or whatever. You know, he's going to try every trick in the Santeria book. All the ashes of every saint and every dead person out there, he's going to try because he's already posting about it. Alejandra's already posting about the ashes and the death and how they're going to, you know, kill all these animals and all these sacrifices against me because they're going to stop me. And yeah, yeah, how's that working out? <laughs> um, they don't understand that everything that they do Oscar Fernando Ramirez Delgado, also known, also known as Oscar L. Blue Jack. Um, they don't understand that every time they do one of those, one of those rituals and one of those uh, Santeria jobs that they call them, uh, it, it only ends up backfiring. It only backfires. 
They don't get it. I do. I do. Well, we don't have guns here. We don't. We, guns are not legal here. Um, but um, one of my friends in in Tapachula is able to carry a gun. So, I mean, because he's an authority. So, um, 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 never heard him doing any of that. Oh, he, uh, he's, yeah, well, that's what he does. He uses other people. Why would he stalk me? Because I expose everything that he does. See, it all started, for those of you who don't know, Jack, he's a deported drug trafficker, right, from America. He's inadmissible for reentry into America, right? So a couple years ago, in 2019, he felt I was going to expose him because he had told me he was an aggravated felon deported for drug trafficking, but I wasn't going to expose him. Um, he, he had told me about it. I mean, when somebody trusts you with something, you, you shouldn't expose it, right? You should, it, 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 it's just, it would be the lowest of the low if I would have done something like that, right? And that's not who I am. Um, but one night, he got so paranoid thinking that I was going to expose him knowing and knowing that he, I had just lost my, my page with almost 80,000 followers. Yeah, he thought I was going to expose him. That he came out and he trashed me in a video for an hour. I mean, just trashed me telling people that I was going to expose him, that I betrayed him, that I threatened him. None of this stuff ever happened, just so you know. I never threatened him, I never betrayed him, I never did anything. It just, it, it, he created his own drama. So obviously after he did that, I attacked him back and then he attacked me back and that's how the feud started and he exposed himself. He really did, Lucinda, he really did. And, uh, you know, he, uh, he exposed his, you know, his drug trafficking past or whatever, right? And he lied because he said he had only done it that one time, but the records show he had done it at least five times from what he confessed the day, uh, he, the day he was, uh, the day he was arrested, he confessed that he had done it at least five times. Um, ah! No, he's not a dual citizen. He's an aggravated felon. He's a deported drug trafficker, Jack. <laughs> he can't enter America. He, uh, all, all, all of us, including immigration, are still trying to figure out how he re-entered America last year or this year or whenever it was. Uh, where we don't know. Um, but he's definitely an aggravated felon. And aggravated felons are inadmissible for reentry into America. He's a deported, he's a Mexican deported drug trafficker, inadmissible for reentry. So, but anyway, um, we're assuming he crossed illegally. Oh, you didn't know that, Jack. See, this is why it's good to uh, expose the truth. And we have the, I mean, he, I mean, the videos, we have videos where he tells you, like, I got caught drug trafficking. Um, so we're not, you know, we're not just like making stuff up. Um, now, okay, so now you know. See, one more person that we were able to, uh, uh, to inform of the truth today. So, recap, Oscar Fernando Ramirez Delgado, also known as Oscar Blue, is a deported drug trafficker um, who is inadmissible for reentry into America, who has been attacking me for two and a half years because I exposed him, okay? Um, he snuck in with his criminal friend, Anthony, I know, I know. So we, we, uh, we're trying to figure out how Anthony's not come back in. So they were driving both in the car towards the border, right? I cross the border all the time because I'm a U.S. citizen, right? So whenever I'm in the car and I'm with somebody else, um, yeah, but he can't cross anymore thanks to uh, reporter Jean Guerrero exposing him nationally on MSNBC. So I, when I'm in the car, what I do is I just stay in the car with whoever's in my car, right? That's just what I do. And then we cross the border together. And then before you know it, we're on the San Isidro side and we're good, right? That's how a normal crossing works. So they were both in the car crossing and uh, Anthony told him to get out of the car. He got out of the car and he crossed on his own. Why did he cross on his own? Why uh, did Anthony cross by car and did this guy cross alone by foot? Why? Because he didn't want Anthony, he didn't want to directly involve Anthony in whatever shenanigans they had going on that day. Um, he's a big, uh, it's all about his ego, Jack. 
he's a he's an egotistical egotistical maniac. Um, aside from a criminal, aside from you know a mythomaniac, he will make anything up. Just like he made up in July that he had graduated from a university and gotten a degree. Oscar, and I'm going to take this short clip. Oscar, I challenge you to show us your degree. I challenge you to show us the degree you claim you acquired in July of this year when I went to Florida and you lost your mind because he claimed that through his Santeria, he was going to prevent me from traveling, from crossing the border back and forth from LA to Me from California to Mexico and from Mexico to California. He claimed that he was going to, um, this is a big, big hater of his because she's been following him for three years and I just got a message from her. Hold on. No, oh. <laughs> calling him garbage. Um, he will lie to you about anything. He claimed that I wouldn't, that I wouldn't cross that he was going to make me so paranoid because they had all these criminal cases against, or, well, civil and criminal cases against me. They lost every case against me, criminal and civil, both. So anyway, when I went to Florida in July, he lost his mind because it was my first time getting on a plane, I think in a year or something, or I don't know, something like that. So then he was so hurt that he started publishing that he had graduated from some university he's so full of crap so i challenge you oscar fernando ramirez delgado to show us that supposed degree that you got in july or august or whenever it was i challenge you to come clean because in mexico you can buy degrees but when it comes to me you know that I know every area of Mexico. I go to Tapachula, which is a very dangerous city, by myself. I went to Guatemala by myself the other day, by myself, without security. Remember when he used to ask you guys for $200 a day so he could get security in Chiapas? He's, so, he's such a clown. I was just there in, in Chiapas, by my, in Guatemala, at the Guatemala border by myself the other day. It is dangerous. I even told the guy, get away from me. I have a gun because he was like coming up behind me. And I was like, oh, shit, these people are going to rob me. Oh, my God. I went down to the river in Guatemala. Yeah, without a bodyguard. I went down to the river, the, the river that crosses, that divides Mexico and Guatemala, right? So I was walking with one of the guys whom I hardly trusted already, right? And as I'm walking with him in the middle of nowhere, there's nobody around. Um, another one comes up behind me and I'm like, crap, I, they're going to rob me. You know, and there's nothing I can do. There's two of them. So I turn around. I tell him, get away from me. I have a gun. I said, don't make me pull out my gun. Because at that point, they don't know what's going on. And uh, and they're Guatemalan people. They were from Guatemala. And uh, and he was just like, no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He's like, I'm, 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 uh, I'm here. We're, we know each other. And I was like, oh, okay. But see, by them even thinking that I have a gun, they wouldn't do anything, you know? Um, that's normally not what you do in, you know, those situations. You just pull out your gun, right? But I don't, I don't have a gun, especially in Mexico. So I just told him. I said, get away from me. Don't make me pull out my gun. And then he just sat back and he was like, okay, okay, okay. So those are the type of situations that I put my, uh, myself in uh, because I'm pretty fearless. Um, and, uh, and this idiot thought he was going to make me scared. When, <laughs> yeah, but when you're deported, you can't enter and he did. Oh, yeah. No, I know. He entered, Lucinda. When you're deported, he can't enter. Even uh, Jenny Rivera's husband, uh, ex-husband, was deported for the same thing. I mean, major celebrity, you know, uh, uh, professional baseball player and everything else. And he's deported and he will never re-enter either, you know. And, uh, but we're letting everybody else. Well, no, but <laughs> this guy is more dangerous than... Um, you know, most migrants, Jack, um, are eligible to cross, but he's not. Most migrants, except the ones that have felonies, right? Or the ones that have been previously deported. Anybody who has been previously deported, especially with an aggravated felony, is inadmissible for reentry. 
most migrants are more eligible than he would ever be. I mean, some thug in Guatemala or Honduras is more, uh, I personally more eligible. Is that how you say it? More eligible? Um, than, than, uh, than he would ever be because he's already been deported. And yeah, we have a high percentage of them who, of them who have been deported. Um, but not all of them have. So most migrants have a better chance of making a great life in America than he will ever have because of his aggravated felony. And see, he had already reentered last year, but because he kept on attacking me and he had me physically assaulted, he had me physically assaulted last year by 70 migrants. Um, he, uh, he was exposed on national television by Gene Guerrero. He had me physically assaulted by 70 migrants. Um, no, this is not peanut, Baldi. This is Ratita. This is Ratita. This is not peanut. This is Ratita. 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 She's up for adoption. Anybody want her? Say, anybody want her? Say, I. Say, I. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, anyway. Self defense. If you don't like me, see me uh, defending myself. And, you know, he didn't put out one attack about me. He put out over 200 attacks about me in just uh, the, uh, the video smear campaign he did of me. Plus all the attacks he puts out daily. You know that he's been harassing now my, uh, my, my political opponents with information about me and they're so sick of it, they don't want to hear it anymore. I mean, if anybody would be interested in getting dirt about me, would be my political, my political opponents, don't you think? And they're sick of it. That's that's how that's how deranged and obsessed these people are about me. And by these people, I mean Oscar O'Blu and his criminal hate group. Anyway, I gotta go. And um, I don't mean to be rude, but as I said, let me handle things as I see fit. Okay. And uh, no, I'm not. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about gen uh, comments in general, Jack. Uh, I was talking about you. I was because I was talking about this stuff before you came in. Um, no, 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 don't, don't take it the wrong way. That's not against you. I got a lot of, I get comments and people are on following and whatever. Um, I'm about fighting fire with fire. You don't fight off cancer with, um, with, um, you know, back flowers. Some people do and they die. You don't fight cancer with yoga. You, you fight cancer with chemotherapy, which is poison. You see? And then you kill it and then you rebuild or you do a complimentary thing. See, I can't spend my whole life fighting, fighting, fighting with them because then I'm never going to get anywhere, you know? Um, but you got to have, you got to fight fire with fire. This guy's dangerous. He's a criminal. He's out to destroy me. Yeah. Like I'm going to sit here and let that happen. It wasn't what he did two years ago or what he's done over the last two years. He's doing it now as we speak. His, his objective is to destroy me. He's just, a, he's just such a con artist that he pays other people to do it. Just as he paid reporters in Tapachula three days ago to put out a false article about me. And now they have to deal with the consequences because they're an enterprise. They're, they are a legal entity that has to deal with the consequences. Who knows if the reporter will end up getting fired? Who knows what will happen? Because I'm sure they're not, you know, very well staffed and they don't have a lot of, you know, there's not a lot of uh, options in Tapachula. Um, but the, the, uh, the article, the false article that he put out against me um, was written by, again, someone who has a legal entity, a corporation, and who has to deal with the consequences. Not everybody is tamales. Not everybody is, uh, you know, broke and uh, on welfare like tamales. These people have a liability. They have a responsibility. So anyway, thank you, Jack, for asking questions. Thank you for wanting to know more. Thank you for being interested. And uh, I've already, like I said, we've already been in contact with the publication because what we're going to do is we're going to inform uh, we're going to inform people in Tapachula who uh, who this clown really is. And word gets out quick, you know. 
Um, he's using them to fight off his feud against me, his personal feud with lies. I don't mind people reporting the truth, but it has to be the truth. If you're going to put out, um, if it, yeah, Lucinda has been there since the beginning and watching everything that they do, every single thing that they do. Um, but again, if you're going to attack me, it better be with the truth. You know, like the Yuma video, it's the truth. Oh, well, I messed up. I really did. The people in Tapachula have no reason to attack me. And the only reason why they're doing it is because this guy is paying them off. Uh, but you can't get away with posting um, lies and slander. And, you know, especially as a, an established publication, right? Especially because we have laws against it in Mexico. I have something that's called Derecho de Replica which gives me the right to demand a retraction from, uh, their, from whatever is just not true. And if they don't do it, then I have the right to sue them. And that's what attorneys are for, right? And uh, because I never threatened physical violence against them, which is what they stated, and they claimed that I assaulted him, which is untrue. I confronted him about um, all the things he said about me on social media that I have not been able to get answers for because he blocks us and takes away our freedom of speech. Um, and uh, there's a lot more that we need to confront him about. And so anyway, I'll let you guys know what happens with the publication in Tapachula, Mexico. Okay, thank you guys. Have a great day. And I'm gonna keep on defending myself, okay? Self-defense. Again, don't expect me to go out there and fight for you if I can't fight for myself. Bye guys. Take care, Jack. Lucinda, thank you so much. God bless you. And message me, okay? Thank you, bye-bye.